Welcome to Rome, the greatest city in the world. It is the heart of the largest empire ever seen, ruling over millions of people in places as far apart as England and Egypt. Above all, it is a city of extremes, filled with spacious palaces and public buildings. It is also the most crowded place on earth. One million people live here, crammed into a narrow street. And although the empire's riches pour, pour into Rome, over two hundred thousand people are unemployed and rely on the emperor for free grain. The emperor Hadrian is rarely in Rome itself. He spends years traveling through the empire, protecting its frontiers and exploring many local cultures. However, he has still found time to organize new buildings and projects in the capital. Rome's spiritual heart is the ancient forum or the marketplace. Centuries ago, when Rome was a village, its people met in the, this open space to trade and discuss politics. Now the old square is built up with giant temples and political memor memorials and the markets have moved elsewhere. The old ruling Senate House is still by the Forum, but Rome's real center of power is now the nearby Emperor's Palace. According to legend, Rome was founded by Romulus. He and his twin brother, Remus, was abandoned as babies and raised by a wolf. For centuries, Rome was ruled by a Senate of important men, SPQR stands for the Senate and the people of Rome. Rome's first rival was the African city of Carthage. Its army used elephants to attack Italy, but was defeated. For 250 years after beating Carthage, Rome's efficient armies conquered all the lands around the Mediterranean Sea. A great General Julius Caesar destroyed the Senate's power and ruled Rome alone, but he was murdered by the senators. After Caesar's death, his adopted son Augustus took control. He became the first in a long line of emperors.